What's up guys, it's Justin with Ugly Mug Marketing. Just wanted to show you something real quick in Facebook that they just updated. It's gonna be super helpful if you're working in Power Editor, especially if you're trying to retarget video views, which is something we think is a great strategy and we suggest everyone try doing. Um, Facebook used to have a way that you could easily find those views, but as time has gone on, it's been more difficult and difficult and difficult to retarget that. Um, what they did is they made a list or an audience that you could search for for each video. So if you had two and a half thousand uh, people watch a video, so 2,500 people watched it, you could get a list um, where it said, you know, people who viewed this, put it on there, and you can send an ad directly to them. But as time's gone on, Facebook's made that more difficult, more difficult, more difficult. However, just recently, they've updated, updated their uh, program in Power Editor to make that much easier for you to use which is a really big deal for anyone trying to do this because it's probably one of the best strategies out there of using Facebook as advertising and retargeting video views. So I just want to show you how they updated that, how you can find it, and how that's going to help you. So if you're here, you know what Power Editor is, you're looking at it, this all looks familiar. If you don't, go to our website, uglymugmarketing.com, check out our free Facebook course, kind of explain what Power Editor is and how you can start using it. But this is Power Editor. We're in our ad set uh, here. We've already created our campaign. We're working our ad set. There's your budget. There's your schedule. Not going to worry about that. We're going to look at audience. Now, normally, when you go into audience, what you're going to do is you're going to say, well, I'm going to do you know, a region or a location, age, gender. Um, I'm going to even possibly do something like detailed targeting. So I'm going to say someone who likes fashion or whatever. What we want to do today, though, is actually create a new audience. And some of you maybe have done this. Some of you may have not. So I'm going to go create new, and I'm going to do custom audience. Click right here. And we're not going to click on any of these, not worry about these. We're going to go straight to engagement on Facebook. And this is what's new. Facebook has collected everything, put it in one easy-to-find location. And you can choose Canvas or Lead Ad. But what we want to do is we want to choose video. So I'm going to click on video. And when it pops up, you can see real quick um, engagement in the last however many days, audience name. So 180 days is the most you can go. Uh, you can go less if you want to do something more relevant, but the, the longest you go is 180 days. You want to put in your audience name. So I know specifically that I'm going to make this audience uh, for Facebook. We were advertising about our Facebook products, what we can do, our consulting, et cetera, et cetera. So how I'm going to do that, though, is I'm going to choose who I want to see that. And you can choose people who have viewed a video for at least 3 seconds, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, 75%, 95%. And as you can imagine, the longer someone's viewed a video, the more engaged they are with what you're doing or what video you did. So if it's related to what you're advertising, which it should be if you're retargeting, the longer someone watched it, the better. But as well, you may not want to get that specific. So we're just going to do three seconds, which is three seconds is the minimum amount that Facebook uses to say someone watched your video. So when you see a video of you, it's at least three seconds. So I do that, and now I'm going to click Choose Videos. So I'm gonna jump over here, go down to our Ugly Mug marketing page, and I'm gonna choose our videos that were related to our Facebook course. Now we ran a series um, leading up to an event and showing how we use Facebook marketing, and so I'm gonna choose on all those videos. And as you see here, all our videos are here, so I can keep going and going and going. But what I wanna do is choose these specific ones. And with each one, you can see how many people viewed it. So like 15 people viewed this one. Not a lot. 6,300 uh, 6, viewed this one. 2,800, 1,900. And as I click them, they pop up over here. Guys, if you'd never tried this before in Facebook, this is so much more convenient. It makes the life just a ton easier. You know exactly what video it is. You don't have to remember the name of the video. It shows you when it was last year. It shows you how many views you get. And then when you're done, it pops up here. It's so much easier. I'm really excited that Facebook did this because it's going to make advertising in our lives on Facebook a ton easier. So I've got my videos here. I'm just going to hit confirm, name, make sure everything's right, everything looks right, so I hit save. Now it tells me it's creating that custom audience. It could take up to 30 minutes for it to be used. So that's why you're going to see here your audience definition. Some people may freak out when they see this, but just give it time. Once you create your ad, once that audience is created, that definition will be high. Right now it's saying less than 1,000 people. We know that's not true. We saw how many views we had. We're at least looking at nine to 10,000 minimum. Um, so that's there. And you can see my custom audience is Facebook. Now, if you wanted, you could go more detailed. People who watch those videos within a certain location, within a certain age, gender, language, 
you know, your specific detail targeting. Always be careful doing that. If you get too detailed, you start leaving people out. You don't ever want to do that. And then you finish up with your ad. So whatever your ad is for those people specifically. So guys, that's the new update with um, Facebook and the custom audience. It's going to be a real big help for you if you're implementing uh, the retargeting strategy off of video views. And if you're not, absolutely suggest that you do that. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great day.